Some people may think that genetic knockouts are created more often using the method that's most commonly described in all of the introductory biology videos and textbooks. And while using stem cells does work, CRISPR has actually become the standard method used to generate these animals, as its faster turnaround time, lower cost, and higher targeting efficiency has led to its widespread use in the industry. As a matter of fact, using embryonic stem cell technology only allowed the alteration of mouse genomes, but the discovery of CRISPR has made these techniques available to virtually any organism or cultured cell. Now, Cygen doesn't even offer the use of the traditional base method to generate knockout mice because it is so outdated. And even if we did, no one in the industry would choose to use it. Since Cygen is not offering the traditional based ES technology, Cygen has launched its own proprietary accelerated ES technology with a much higher targeting efficiency called Turbo Knockout. Because CRISPR is such an exacting tool, this technology can actually boost the efficiency of homologous recombination responsible for integrating the knockout gene in mice as the generation of double-stranded breaks caused by CRISPR trumps the efficiency of the natural homologous recombination process. In other words, using CRISPR allows there to be inserts or knockouts at exact locations on the genome. Next, by using the CRISPR-Cas9 technology, Scientists don't have to worry about the electroporation process or even the establishment and colonization stage of the embryonic stem cells. Instead, scientists can just perform an injection of the Cas9 mRNA, sgRNA, and a circular plasmid construct into the mouse oocytes and let the magic happen. This has an advantage because it decreases the amount of time that it takes for the mice to be developed while also using less resources. Using CRISPR is so special because all you really have to do is choose the best spot in the genome to make the cuts and develop the Cas9 construct to recognize it. Additionally, there are two main mechanisms to repair double-stranded breaks, non-homologous end joining and homology-directed repair. With non-homologous end joining, the ends of the double-stranded breaks are simply reconnected together and this process is highly error prone, introducing mutations, insertions, and deletions. Homology directed repair, on the other hand, utilizes a repair template where desired changes are flanked left and right by homologous sequences. If an exogenous DNA template is provided, homology directed repair allows introducing targeted modifications at the double strand break site. Through this, the desired changes are incorporated into the genome. Scientists utilize this technology specifically for knock-ins. If you want to learn exactly how Cyogen makes their knockout models using CRISPR, go ahead and check out our last video where we described in detail how we generate F1 knockout mice using CRISPR.